Hello friends. So today we would be discussing uh, about implementation of uh, eBay bill. As you all are aware that uh, now eBay bill is a compulsory uh, activity which every business has to conduct after 1st of April. Though uh, at this point in time uh, many people are not totally geared up for that and uh, but uh, slowly and gradually uh, things are getting uh, activated uh, with all the businesses so uh, viptil is also extensively working uh, on ebay bill facilities uh, in different software utilities and different accounting and erp packages and uh, today we will be taking uh, a brief about how, how we have tackled this burning issue with tally because you are all aware that tally is a accounting package which holds the maximum a share as far as the um, small and medium enterprises are concerned so i will take you through what we have uh, uh, done about uh, the working in the tally so let's uh, go through all the utilities one by one So this is the gateway what we get uh, when we start the tally. So uh, what tally has done is they have already provided with uh, different fields which are required for printing on invoices like eBay bill number, date of eBay bill. Those things have already been uh, incorporated in tally 6.4. But taking it forward from there, I'll take you through uh, the entire uh, process what tally has given and what value add webtel has provided so uh, if we go to any of the display windows say i say right uh, we go to the accounts there uh, then we have got sales registers and then if we enter and we go into any of invoices they have provided this facility of uh, ebay bills details if i say yes so here uh, they have provided the facility that you can punch the data here and you provide the date of ebay bill here right and once you have entered the data and once you are saving it say i will show you like that okay if i say i save this data so automatically it Tally uh, has given a facility that it will be generating a JSON file for you. You say yes and the JSON file will be saved on the target location, right? After you have saved it, the, uh, then you can get the eBay bill number from the portal, enter it here and save it, right? This is the mechanism what Tally has given at the moment. Now how the user has to do it after getting this json file he has to log in on the portal there are two different options available to him first is that he can say okay i want to generate a new ebay bill in this case if he is having the invoice he can choose the uh, document type whether it is a tax invoice bill of supply bill of entry delivery chalan document number date and then a whole lot of information can be captured here and then eBay bill will be generated after submission if all the required fields are there right and all the mandatory fields are been marked with a red asterisk mark the second facility what government has given is that if you don't want to do it uh, online you can go to the home page again go to the eBay bill option and then say okay i want to generate a bulk eBay bill so you can choose the file as we have generated one and I can select it. So this is a actually a file of another company, but I will just show you. You can just select the file and say upload. And if file is correct, it will give me the option, right? So you can generate the file and then automatically you will be getting the, after uploading, you will be getting a message that, okay, this is the eBay bill number, right? So here uh, it is a different login and different user ID. So I'm getting a, uh, error message at this point in time so what webtel has done uh, for for the ease of operation because just to understand that any company having 10 to 15 invoices per day again and again uh, again generating uh, that json file and uploading it one by one and after that uh, coming back back to tally 
and then uh, punching it here i think uh, won't be a easy affair right so how webtel has tackled it is that if you subscribe to our new utility so in the webtel gst options and if you go to the configuration you will find that there is new setting available that is webtel eway bill settings so there is new name of the gsp services and password of gsc services so how to create this if you go to the portal let me show you if you go to the portal and say okay i want to uh, have registration go to the registration module and then for gsp services if i click here so i can add any new gsp services just select webtel electrosoft so webtel electrosoft is in the last is alphabetically and then you can create the username here right any username you can give right i say uh, vijay sami and then you say okay any password so we can give any password and then i re enter the username though the sequence should have been same but say for example here they are given it here and i say okay and once because i'm just showing you so i'm not going to add it here uh, so i can add it once you have added this you can go back and provide the same username and password in the software once this activity is complete now you come back and now let's go back to the display account books and sales register and say for example i open this so here i'm not having any ebay bill number here so i go back here and say yes so i'm having this particular number here i can delete it and then again i can save it so if i save this voucher once again and if i re open this so you will find that there is a button called gst uh, generate ebay bill if i click this using the same user id and password it will first authenticate from our website that okay yes this particular user has subscribed to our services and then it will automatically generate that number and save it here itself so just imagine the type of ease we are providing to the user if now i say yes you will find that that ebay bill number is automatically populated here date is also as this is a educational version so i am saving it as 1st of april otherwise you will be getting it 1st of uh, 5th of april so just imagine the ease what we have provided to the user so because we have generated it once and number is there so it has for the next time it will be it has disabled this right if i go back to the second uh, option say for example here here you will find that because there is no ebay bill available here so this option is enabled as of now right if i go back to the previous voucher and say okay because this is already generated but okay due to one some reason i want to cancel this ebay bill you don't have to go back to the website right so you can just double click and say okay what is the reason uh, data entry mistake or it was a duplicate say i say okay it is a mistake so i can write anything as the remarks and i save it so automatically now it will take the data to the portal and the ebay bill will be cancelled and i will be getting this that okay ebay bill number this cancelled successfully okay if i again close this and come back so it is saying that okay ebay bill was cancelled so it is indicating that once the ebay bill was generated and then it was subsequently cancelled and because it is cancelled once so now this option of generate ebay bill is again activated so i can again come back to the button and i can regenerate it so likewise you will be getting a new message 
and this is generated if I go back and I reopen this so you will find that you will be finding a number over here likewise similarly if there are some changes I want to update that uh, that particular vehicle has breakdown so there are different options so whether I'm sending it by road rail or air so you can select that any vehicle number I will say okay any number you can punch though we are checking the formats so place of supply as a New Delhi and the state any reason okay due to breakdown again I put a test here so now this eBay bill will be generated so I have updated the eBay bills so validity will be changed so this is we are generating it one by one similarly if I go back to the I mean gateway I will be having this facility of generate eBay bill these these are these are the bulk eBay bills what I can generate so I say I select from say February 2nd of February and I say okay load invoices so it is it has loaded all the invoices for these many number of invoices marked in green so eBay bill has already been generated so if you go on the extreme right side you will find that eBay bill number is already mentioned here right for all other cases eBay bill is still pending to be generated I say okay if you want to say show only the generated or the pending for generation so I can just double click if I want to select all of them I can do it or otherwise okay if I want to generate for two only I said just generate these bills so it has generated for one invoice but there is the, the there are some sort of errors so I have already marked that for this particular invoice I was not able to generate and what was the error so invalid vehicle number format so just correct it once again and you can you can again generate so these are the ease of operations which we have provided but otherwise for any user to do it one by one or generating a file over there and then again going and uh, uploading that file and on top of that once I have generated that file to update those eBay bill numbers regularly on your uh, and please note that once I am generating these uh, invoices or eBay bills sorry uh, you have to you have to uh, while you are printing the invoices say for example I want to print this as invoice I want to print this invoice so and I say yes so if you go <coughs> so you will be having this available number on top of your invoice so you don't need to go to the website again and again and then uh, uh, because this is mandatory that it should be printed or otherwise you have to carry uh, it uh, while uh, you are, you are uh, taking the uh, goods so uh, I think this is something which we have been able to capture here so a, a very very useful utility and we are getting a great response for from a limited number of clients to whom we have demonstrated that at this point in time so uh, 